In 1985, Hasbro released the fourth series of action figures in its ever-growing G.I. Joe toy line. Many new characters were introduced to cater to a wide variety of battlefield situations, including, but not limited to, chemical warfare and hostile environments. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Joe's specialist in hostile environments, Airtight, here on Creed's Collection. Hey everyone, today we are taking a look at Airtight, a member of the G.I. Joe team that specializes in hostile environments. That's a nice way of saying chemical warfare. Airtight's job, from what I understand, is to suit up and wade into places that may have been hit with a chemical weapon strike. His hazmat suit protects him, and his equipment allows him to check for the types and levels of toxins that may be in the air, and to decide if it's safe for the other Joes to proceed. So Airtight is basically the equivalent of a special forces canary in the coal mine. His suit being yellow suddenly makes so much more sense. And now that we know a little bit more about him, let's go ahead and take a closer look. So Airtight has some pretty nice details on him, even though his helmet looks like a motocross helmet to me. I like his front chest plate there, it's kind of Darth Vader-ish with all the controls. And the bright yellow, green, and black color scheme of his suit really hammer home the fact that he works with hazardous materials. He's got the typical hole in his back for slotting in G.I. Joe accessories, and short of a few minor paint blemishes, he's in fantastic shape. Here's a closer look at his head sculpt, and also a closer look at his control panel on the front of his chest. Airtight doesn't have a copyright date on him, but he does have a stamp from his country of origin, made in Hong Kong. Airtight has standard G.I. Joe figure articulation with a bendable knee and hip as well as the rubber band waist, the shoulders that swivel up and down as well as out, and the swivel arm battle grip at the bicep. And for the first time ever, the ball joint neck was added in G.I. Joe series four figures. So now not only can they look left and right, but down and up as well. Now I'll go ahead and take a look at Airtight's included gear. He comes with this proton pack, I mean this uh, compressor pack and sniffer for monitoring the air quality and checking for poisons and toxins. That's right, this is not a gun. Airtight is not packaged with a single weapon. That's a pretty rare thing for G.I. Joe figures. Here's the compressor pack up close. Yes, that is Sharpie marker on it. As a kid, I like to take a Sharpie and add details to my G.I. Joe equipment. I don't know what I was thinking. It's okay though, because it's a fun memory, but expect to see more of that in future G.I. Joe reviews. His pack uses the typical peg-in system on the back of the G.I. Joe. As I said earlier, there's a hole and you just plug in the pack. It's that easy. Now I am missing one piece of airtight right here on the back where the holes of his helmet are and that little indention is on the pack. That was where a hose went and unfortunately I lost it. But here's a picture so you can see what it looked like. Here is airtight's file card. Now. I'm actually gonna talk about this for a minute. You notice it's not cut out, and nor is it from a card back. You're probably thinking, well, what is this? Well, this is how he came. My mother ordered him for me out of a catalog. It was either Sears or JCPenney, and instead of arriving on a card back, he was sealed in a bag with all of his gear, and he came with a file card like this. I'm not sure how rare these file cards are, but I do have a few more of them, so look for them in the future. And now for our He-Man size comparison. Airtight's pretty happy to be in that hazmat suit right now because they don't wear deodorant on Eternia. That gives a whole new meaning to the most powerful man in the universe. Everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy review for Airtight from the 1985 toy line G.I. Joe by Hasbro. Despite being bright yellow and having no weapons, I still loved this figure a lot. And he was always there, ensuring the safety of the team so the mission could be complete. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it and it would help my channel grow. I review a toy for my vintage collection every Wednesday. So I hope to see you next week and every week after here on Creed's Collection.